Today I'll be designing a Y2K shirt design using Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. I haven't seen anyone else do a Y2K shirt quite like this before, so hopefully this can inspire you to go a different approach for your own brand. Let's go. Yo, 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 what's good? It's your boy Dixon from Intuitive Design. So the design inspiration for today is this image I found on Pinterest. I really like how the flower intertwined with the text. You know, it kind of gives that contrast where the gentleness of the flowers meets the sharp text. But I feel like it would be even better with the Chrome Y2K logo intertwining with the vintage flowers. So let's see. All right, so jumping straight into Illustrator, I'm gonna start with the Y2K logo first, obviously. Um, for this though, I'm gonna go with the font called Sofa Chrome. It is a free font on thefont.com. So look it up if you want. But yeah, it is the usual process. If you see my Y2K logo tutorial, then you will know everything that I'm about to do. It, you know, it's pretty much the same thing. But yeah, also can actually see the process of me designing a logo. You can see that I saved tons of copies of the logo um, in each different stages. <laughs> um, you know, just in case I mess up and want to go back again. But yeah, right now I'm fixing the kerning and then doing the, you know, the slanted italic um, effect on the logo. So yeah, see you guys in a sec. There we go. Now, I really like this font. I think I'll use it a lot more from now on, especially with the Y2K trend going on. Um, anyway, now I'm adding the Y2K elements to the logo. Um, it's my own elements pack, by the way, that you guys can also download and use it for yourself. Link below. So I'm going with this twisty shape. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it actually resembles the Nike swoosh a bit. So in a way, it kind of ties with the name too. Um, after that, I'll keep testing out some of these elements and then see which one that sticks. So guys, I'm pretty much done here. I am quite happy with the result. Um, I think the final touch is just soften the sharp edges of the twisty shape. Obviously, Y2K logos can be more complex, but you know, it's just my personal preference. You know, I like it cleaner where the words are readable. So yeah, let's start with the shirt design right now. Okay guys, just ignore this design file, it's just a practice piece. Um, anyway, let me create a new document where the size is 5000 by 6600 pixels at 350 dpi, uh, which is overkill by the way, 300 is good enough. Now before I continue, a quick word from today's sponsor, Envato Elements. Vato Elements is the ultimate toolbox for us graphic designers. Offering more than 50 million assets, you can get pretty much everything you need for your projects, such as this, 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 and even this. I've been using Vato Elements for almost two years now, and it's proven to improve my designs than before. 
can simply go to the search bar, type in what you need, and you can sort the results based on orientation or even by colors. My favorite from the site is the 3D assets library. For someone like me who don't use any 3D software, this really helps my workflow. And what's even better is you can get the angle you like and then download it as PNG file with already transparent background. With Envato Elements, you get unlimited downloads with only one subscription. So click the link below now to get 50% off on annual subscription, giving you full access for just $16.50 per month. Now let's start the video. Now I'm going to open up the AI logo file that I made just now and then jump on the iCandy plugin to create that 3D Chrome effect. So I'm testing out a few of these Chrome presets. I am really impressed with how easy it is to use eye candy to achieve that 3D effect. Uh, particularly this liquid one looks very cool. I'm thinking about how I can use that from other projects and stuff. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with the first Chrome one, the regular one, and then just play with the settings and whatnot. But yeah, for now I'm just gonna test out a bunch of these presets. So guys, this is the result and look at that. I mean, it's crazy how good this looks. It is just perfect. It's even crazier to know that this is all just done in Photoshop. I mean, it cannot get easier than this. Next, I'm gonna use this vintage flower illustration that I got from Unsplash. I'm gonna crop it out from the background using the select subject quick action and then just move it into the working file. As expected, the select subject action didn't do it perfectly, but it did help speed up the process a lot. So right now I'm going to fix the unselected areas using the lasso tool and then just clean up the edges by using the select and mask tool. So here's the flowers cropped and inside the working file. I think I did a pretty decent job cropping it out. Anyway, the idea is to have the flowers intertwining with the Nike logo, but for placement, I don't have any plans yet. So I'm just gonna rotate it 90 degree and then maybe just flip it horizontally and then move it to the back. Now from this point on, it's pretty easy. I'm just gonna add a mask layer to the logo layer. Command click on the flower layer to select the outline and then just manually brush it out, creating this intertwining effect.
now that's done what's left is just the color correction for this part i'll be mainly using the selective color tool to mess with the colors uh, because i feel like the blue color on the logo looks too modern for the vintage flowers so there'll be a lot of adjustments here but after this it's all done So guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll be creating more Y2K content for the next couple uploads. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Follow me on TikTok for more content. See you in the next one.